So, <clears throat> so in this video, we're going to talk about polar coordinates. Um, uh, more specifically, in this video, we're going to talk about converting uh, from re rectangular to polar form, and also vice versa. If you're given polar, uh, we'll be able to um, take it into rectangular form. And also, I want to talk about complex uh, numbers in polar forms, or converting to um, rectangular to polar. So to start off, I want to show you where you can find the information in the FE handbook. Um, I just searched polar, and a few searches later, you know, I found polar coordinate system. Again, this is under the heading mathematics, page 23, uh, relatively at the start of the PDF or the digital file. And it shows you all of the, def the definitions uh, or all of the uh, different equations that you can use. Um, outlined here. Um, so let's let's do an example. Uh, this will help us see how we can utilize uh, those equations. So for our first example, uh, we're given the coordinate negative 3, 5, and we want to convert it to polar. which is given, expressed in R comma theta. So some of the uh, relationships that we're going to have to use, uh, as it was shown in the FE reference book, um, x is equal to R cosine theta, y is equal to R sine of theta, and R squared is equal to x squared plus y squared and also uh, tangent inverse of y over x x is equal to theta so here's some of the equations that we're going to use um, so right off the bat we can find r because we're given this is our x, this is our y, so we can find our r right away. Oh, and even before we start doing this, it'd be, it's recommended that you plot the point to get a sense of where, in which quadrant it lies. Um, so negative 3, uh, 5 would put us about here, so we'll call this negative 3, 5. This is our rectangular coordinate system. So again, let's go back to finding on R. So if we square root both sides of this equation, our R will equal plus or minus square root of x squared plus y squared, which is negative 3 squared plus 5 squared. And don't forget the plus or minus here, because we're square rooting um, when we square, when we take the square root, uh, it's always plus or minus. So this will be plus or minus square root of nine plus twenty-five, which is simplified to plus or minus square root of thirty-four. So that's our radius, and we can find our theta angle given this formula here. So tangent inverse of y over x, so y will be 5 and x will be negative 3. So this will give us uh, negative 1.03 radians. And it's these angles are generally expressed in radians. Um, you could do it in degrees, but uh, usually they're expressed in radians. So if we look at our polar coordinate axis, um, if we had an angle of negative 1.03 radians, or 1.03 radians 
in the negative direction. But that'll put us about here. Uh, actually, probably a little bit further than that. About here. Well, we know that our point three, negative 3, 5 is in the second quadrant. So that means if our angle is putting us in the fourth quadrant here, our radius is going to have to be negative in order to put us in the second quadrant. So that means um, we will have to use this negative uh, square root of 34 as our radius. So this point here will be negative root 34 comma negative 1.03 radians. And of course there's m many ways to express this point. Um, if we use the pot if we use the positive square root of 34 this would be this angle this negative 1.03 radian plus if we want to end up here we would have we would just have to find we would just have to add pi to this negative 1.03 radian so we'll call this angle negative 1.03 plus pi 3.14 and that'll give us uh, about 2.109 radians. So this is negative root 34 comma negative 1.03 radians is equal to um, root 34 comma 2.109 radians. So both of those are correct. Um, so we went from rectangular to polar and just as a check let's go back to rectangular form given uh, our answer here so I'm going to use this the positive values so my r is root 34 and my theta is 2.109. So using this first equation here, my x is going to be r cosine theta. So my r is square root of 34 times cosine of 2.109. And this is uh, about negative 3. I mean if you punch it in the calculator you can get like negative 2.98 um, but that's because we rounded this 2.109 radian. That's round. That's a rounded value. So it's about negative 3 um, and then y will be our sine theta. So root 34 times sine of 2.109 and this will be about 5. So we get back negative 3, 5, which is what we want, which is what we started with. Um, and yeah, that's how you switch from rectangular to polar. So for our second example, we're given um, negative 2 plus 3i, or 3j. Remember, I um, is is often denoted as J. Um, well, it's exclusively denoted as J uh, in the FE uh, because uh, in, in order to clear any confusion or mix up between the current uh, variable I, so it's it's denoted as J. So if we're given this uh, complex number, negative 2 plus 3j, and we're told to put it into polar form of the form uh, r times e to the j theta, um, first, as in the previous example, I would plot it just, just to get a sense of 
where this lies. So if this is my real, this is my imaginary, negative 2 plus 3j would put us here, roughly. So we know it's in the second quadrant. So now um, we can use the similar relationships as before, um, x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine of theta, and theta is tangent inverse of y over x. So we can find theta right away because we are given y and x. Well, you might ask, well, what's y and x? I don't see it. Well, this form here, uh, in general terms, is actually x plus y, j. So that means our theta is going to be tangent inverse of 3 over negative 2. And this should give us, I don't have this one calculated, so tangent inverse of 3 divided by negative 2 should be about negative 0 0.983 radians. So now we can find our r. Uh, with the equation r squared equals x squared plus y squared. And of course r will be plus or minus again. Um, x squared is going to be negative 2 squared, which is positive 4, plus 3 squared, which is 9. So that'll be plus or minus square root of 13. So again, we know that we're in quadrant 2. So we know we're in quadrant 2, and we have a negative angle here. So that means, so if I plot this negative 0.983 radians, you know, we're probably about here, somewhere in quadrant 4. And if we want to be in quadrant 2, we would have to use a negative, we would have to use the negative radius. So that means this point up here in polar form is going to be negative square root of 13 negative 0 0.983 radius and of course we can use the positive radius value but if we wanted to do that if we use the positive uh, square root of 13 that means the equivalent angle that will put us in quad 2 will be this initial negative 0 0.983 radian plus pi. So negative 0 0.983 plus 3.14 radians gives us 2.157 radians. Uh, to finish the problem, we still have to put it in this form up here, the R e to the j theta. So that will be root 13 2 times e to the j times 2.157. And that's our final answer.